these pictures and I'm seeing these posts from different people right um I see the names there as I go through this I might you know like say Sarah right here right My friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about attraction marketing how do you use the power of attraction marketing on Facebook on social media how do you leverage that the best way possible we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So what do I mean by the power of attraction marketing? Attraction marketing is defined by leaders as something that attracts people to you versus you having to go to them, right? So we're going to talk about exactly what that is and how to leverage that how to use the power of that on Facebook but I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis466.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and there will be a blog post there as well so let's get right to it let me actually share my screen right here and you know these are just little notes I gave myself to kind of go over what is it what is attraction marketing right why does ma attraction marketing actually work what do leaders tell you to do for attraction you know what must you do on Facebook for attraction marketing to work what's the only thing what's the one thing that's overlooked by most leaders gurus and coaches we're going to get into all these we're going to go through this a little bit but before we do that let me kind of show you what I'm talking about when we talk about attraction marketing attraction marketing is the process of getting people attracted to you now I'm not saying you know attracted uh for to, for a relationship you know to get married whatever I'm talking about attraction as in being interested in finding out more about you finding more about your product right discovering what you're about what how you can help them right so I mean when we go through Facebook that's really that's what people are doing on Facebook just so you know people are posting so that you will notice them right so that's what you got to be doing obviously that's one of the things you got to be doing there's more to it than that but that's one of the things you got to be doing people are posting you should be posting so that people notice you so that people can get a feel for who you are what you're about how you can help them right so that's what it's all about right posting about you and your product so let's go back to that little those little notes I have right here so right so what is attraction marketing right let's just kind of talk about that what is attraction marketing right so attraction marketing is a process where you attract your ideal prospect to you right they reach out to you and ask you about your product right so that's pro, pro, right so that's what your goal is right as an online marketer as if you're using a track obviously if you're using the sales processes and you're making phone calls and you're setting appointments all these other things are other you know ways of building a business online but if you're trying to build a business online like lots of the people out there me that's kind of what I want because I don't really have time to do all the calls and everything else so I want to build something where I'm going to have people attracted to me they're going to come to me because they get a feel for what I can help them with and they got have an idea of what it's <coughs> you know how I can help them right that's basically how this all works right and you know as somebody who's building a business online that uh doesn't have time to to deal with all the intricacies of getting you know building relationship with customers and everything else you use attraction marketing so that that builds it for you but but how does that work right if you um are building a business online and you want to use attraction marketing there's certain things you have to do because if you don't do those things attraction marketing won't work for you so if we go down to the to this 
right let's talk about why does attraction marketing actually work so why does it work right so if I go through Facebook here I'm looking through these these pictures and I'm seeing these posts from different people right um I see the names there as I go through this I might you know like say Sarah right here right Sarah has posted something here that has to do with uh an amazing night at challenge ceremony right so this is something that happened in her life that she's posting about right and if it's the first time I ever seen a post by Sarah I might you know I probably won't necessarily remember it right but because Sarah is somebody that I've been engaging on her posts for a while I kind of start to get to know her right what what's her life like what's going on in her life and I might go straight to her profile right here and go look at her actual profile oops I gotta go to oh there whoops I clicked another button no no don't 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 load the videos okay well uh let's go back to the post right here okay so when I look at Sarah's posts I can see a lot about her life right and I can also see some of these posts that she's posting right and this is because Sarah is actually in attraction marketing she's actually doing the pros the, she's going through the process of what you need to be doing but why does it work why does it work right why does it work that you get to know a person through social media through Facebook social media is actually there to allow you to be known because as you post things the pro the, the platform will share your stuff in the news as you saw there was a post well this this is a post here that was in the news feed right because I engage with Sarah's post once in a while I'm going to start to see her post in my feed as well and that's just how the how the platform works right so if I go back to the feed oh is it yeah okay if I go back to the feed I won't necessarily see her post because it's other people's posts and everything else right but the reason why it works the reason why it works is because let's just talk about this why does it work so number one um humans are creatures of habit right so we're you've I'm sure you've heard that before right we're creatures of habit we because when we do something over and over we we get to a familiarity of it right so same thing with seeing things so when we see something many times we become familiar with it okay so by seeing something multiple times over and over and over right we become what's called familiar we become familiar with it basically we feel comfortable around it right so uh what else why why is the other reason that traction marketing works we automatically that that's that's really super important to understand right we automatically automatically subconsciously right subconsciously start to like um something we see many times so that's one of the reasons why um advertising works right if you think of a um a tv commercial well, I mean uh, there's no tv's not the but anyways you know commercials you see ads on on youtube or whatever commercials ads work by repetitively showing you the same thing right so if you're old like me and you know about commercials on tv you know that you would see this commercial for a new car you'd see a commercial for you know ice cream at Dairy Queen you'd see a commercial for a, a particular kind of diaper you know whatever it was you'd see that tons of times over the over a week or a month right you wouldn't see it just once and that's it you'd have to see it tons of times but as you saw it tons of times you automatically started thinking that's something maybe you should get right if you're in need of diapers because you have a baby well you you're going to get the brand probably that you see the ads for right that's just how it is our brain gets attached to the things that we see over and over and over and over right and that's one of the things if you see something over and you see something enough you're going to start to automatically like it and that's the power of attraction marketing so that's 
okay so that's how attraction marketing works right so how does it that's so what do the leaders tell you to do now we know that attraction marketing works by uh seeing something more than once right multiple multiple tons of times 10 20 30 times somebody sees something it's going to register and they're going to like it it's kind of like it's an unfortunate thing about us humans right but it's something that marketers take advantage of that's just how it works that's just how our brain works our brain just works like that so okay so now what do leaders tell you to do right so t leaders tell you to do is post every day right they'll tell you to post every day and then the thing is that what do you post about right so post a uh, specific uh types of posts um with a schedule whoops a schedule and um this well and, and 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 posts okay so so for example there we're going to say like for example post about family um the results um there's like there's five to ten different kinds of posts obviously but the top five are family um well actually let's talk about okay really what they are so there post types okay so there's value there's entertain entertainment there is um uh, family results and and promotion okay so <laughs> more or less that okay so i mean obviously there's variations in there like entertainment could be uh education could be uh comedy could be um you know cool things whatever it is that your audience is interested in so you got to figure that stuff out that's super important but basically you just post these kinds of posts and you also don't post the same thing all the time so you can't be posting promotion posts all the time or family posts only family posts or only results posts right so when we talk about family posts we're talking about you know going out to the beach or going to the restaurant or happy birthday to some of your family members or you know things like that and uh you know uh entertainment like well i kind of said what entertainment value would be like educational stuff things that they will consider that they got value from right either by educate by enter also could be entertainment right that's part of it but uh, more specifically value to them right what is it that you can help them with that they will feel value for right now that's not it's a pretty hard thing to to quantify and in this video here I'm not going to go into the details of that but those are the kinds of posts now the other thing too is that there is um so use the 80 let's say 80 20 or 90 10 rule so that basically means 10 to 20 percent promotion right the rest uh the other posts right so you basically you do 10 to 20 percent promotion posts and the rest uh are the other types right so you would do for example you know maybe you do one value post one entertainment post one family post one result post and if you do one promotion post if you do five posts and you do one of each you're basically doing 20 percent promotions right but if you want to do 10 percent promotion you would do two value posts two entertainment posts two family posts two results posts and one promotion post right and when we talk about promotion we're talking about getting people to buy something from you or maybe you're talking about uh, results from a product you have talking about what it is you sell in terms of what they can get from it you try to avoid your product itself or your company itself or whatever it is you're promoting but you try to talk about what they get out of it right so say for example you have weight loss products well you're not going to post your the bottle with the label and anything you're not going to post the the actual product you know if it's if they're pills right you could probably put them in your hand and post about that but what you want to do is you want to talk about what that gives them right sure it gives them weight loss or it gives them appetite suppressant or whatever they they those products are but why do they want it what is it that they're going to get out of it that's what you talk about and then promotion would be 
a call to action, right? Click this link to go ch learn more or click this link to sign up for my ebook or newsletter or whatever, right? That's what they, that's what we talk about for promotion, all right? Now, what is it that you must do on Facebook for um, attraction marketing to work? So obviously, obviously you need to be posting, right? Posting regularly just like what the gurus tell you to do that is that's perfect that's exactly right but you also need to and this is something most gurus will teach too as well but you need to uh, set up your profile to uh, let them know what your uh, what you are about right so that means you got to have a cover photo you got to have a profile picture you got to have a bio you got to have a link in there that takes them to something that makes sense and all of it has to be congruent with your message with your offer with what you help them with so all that stuff is important right it has to be must must be congruent with your offer and what you are what you uh, can help them with right so this is really important that you can that you are congruent with what you're offering them and how you can help them because if you can't you know if you're like me if I go to my profile right if I go to my profile you can actually see uh you can well you can see like I have this cover photo that talks about free software demo taking back your time for Facebook agdemo.com where you can register and over here I have that same link right here right I say I'm creative the active group user software and then what else what else is there um and then I have posts right I have posts that I post like personal posts here post um my new job my daughter here um then just about reels and you know it's basically um, um a marketing kind of like post about stuff that's going on here's a here's another post of one of the <coughs> course income secrets from last week oh and the same thing down here right we have I have it again here and pictures of uh, the lupins here so you know it's kind of like post about the stuff that you're kind of into um and you know the kinds of things that you want your audience to to kind of connect with you a little bit right maybe maybe it's not obvious what you're about or maybe it's not obvious what I'm about maybe I don't know right I still have to improve that uh, that's something that improves all the time but that's the thing you want to make sure that your profile is more or less at least is complete and has the information whether it's perfect it's never going to be perfect by the way but at least you're going to have information that lets them have a clue of what you're about when they see you in the news feed right so and that's kind of what what you want to make sure all right so it must be congruent uh set up your profile let's just save this okay so and then what else we want to make sure that um we want to make sure that we have the profile set up and we want to be posting regularly and well the other thing you must do on Facebook for instance you must be must be engaging on other people's other people's posts right so now the thing is again that's definitely something gurus will tell you to do that you've got to be engaging on posts but the difference that the, the hmm, what's the what so the thing about that is if you go to the news feed right if I just go to the news feed here and I engage on posts here right I'm going to go through the news feed I'm going to post on some of these I'm going to comment on the posts that are in the news feed and Facebook is going to be happy because that's what Facebook wants me to do wants me to engage on people so and now over time that will work right you're gonna like say for example over here Patty Pro I don't know who that is but it's in my newsfeed Ginny Gruth <coughs> Ginny oh sorry Kruth and if I go through here and I just comment on some of these posts right Alicia they're gonna know that I'm commenting on their stuff they're gonna start to notice possibly me they might be go to my so you know if you do that they're going to go to your profile they're going to check you out because they're going to see you in here right so I'm going to see these these people commenting on my stuff so I'm going to go there and that that's exactly what they're going to see too right they're going to see notifications of you commenting on their stuff right 
and that's what you want you want them to see you in their notifications and that's the secret that I really want to get to what's the one thing that's overlooked by most leaders is notification let's just do that so it's notifications notifications so why is why is notifications so important notifications will allow people to learn about you because they will see you in their notifications everybody on Facebook everybody on Facebook goes to Facebook and they click on that little thing right here that says notifications and they look through that and they you know they'll some people will actually go to every single one of these right so as you're building your business online you want people to see you there see how I see the Jane's name here I see uh, Abdel here I see Leah Ray Getz I see Elise Cooch I see Sylvia Jen Jenna I see Russell I see her right so those are the names I see in my notifications but I want my face to be in other people's notifications and how do you control that right how do you take control of that that's really the secret right but if you know that that is what is going to make a difference for people to notice you so that now you can take control of these notifications by taking control of what actions you take and the way to do that so you know how do you how do you take control of notifications right you can't you can't control the notifications that Facebook shows to people right but you can minimize the loss of um you know engagement on stuff that doesn't matter like for example if I'm going through the news feed here I just go through the news feed I engage on the posts that are in the news feed well Facebook is deciding what it shows me see how it says suggested for you right here it's because this is I don't know in the past I've engaged on posts like this maybe right or maybe it's because this has a lot of comments or maybe it's because it's got a lot of uh, reactions right at 1.3k right so Facebook will show you stuff that looks like it thinks lots of people are interested in right so it'll show you that and it'll also show you a post from people that you've engaged with in the past <laughs> so as you go through your news feed you're basically confirming to Facebook that whatever it is that you've engaged with in the past that is still good but that's not always the best way because those people are there are the people that are always there and you're going to be seeing the same post the same well this from the same people all the time right because you're engaging on those people's posts right so what you want is you want to take control of that and now I'm not going to go into the whole detail of how all that works because there's a lot involved but what you want to do is you want to actually use a software called active group users it'll give you a list of users you know, let me show you what that looks like if I just go to activegroupusers.com you can actually try a free trial a 14-day free trial or there's a 90-day uh, option if you want to watch the demo the replay but if you go to activegroupusers.com and I go to my data right here what the active group users will do is it'll actually go find the people in Facebook in the groups that people are actually that you tell it to so that means if you are in weight loss you're going to look in the weight loss groups if you're into affiliate marketing you're going to look in affiliate marketing groups right so whatever groups you tell it to it'll go find the people that are actually active in those groups you'll actually see right here how many Facebook comments how many Facebook posts uh how many visits how long ago they comment they created a comment all these things are all in here and the, you know the thing with that is that you're going to be in control of whose posts you engage on if I click on Chris's name right here it'll pop up a summary of them and then if I click on their name it'll take me straight to their profile and that because that's the thing if you're in Facebook let's go back here if we're in Facebook we go to groups and we look at say for example this group here your first funnel challenge right if I go to this group there's 56,000 people in that right Russell has been doing this for a while he's he's rerunning this challenge all the time so if I look at this this person here Rachel Foresti posted one minute ago Aldo Prina posted 12 minutes ago uh Brittany Border posted two hours ago okay so you know whether these people are active or not on Facebook you don't know right they're posting in the group but maybe they're not 
really active. So they're not going to see notifications if you engage on their posts. But if they're on Facebook all the time, if I go to say, let's say, where's so I go to Mary or I go to um, Dante here, uh, I go to Erica. Let's go to Erica. I click on this. That takes me to Erica's group profile, uh, which shows me that she's posted a few things, right? And if I go here, I can go to her main profile, which takes me to her actual main profile, which is where you really want to go. You really want to go be engaging on their main profile. You can see right here, December 2021. So she hasn't posted since 2021. So she might not be somebody that's worth, um, well, not necessarily, not, they're not worth, but the thing is that if you engage on these posts, these are posts from a long time ago. So chances are they're not really active. So you don't want to really worry about that. You want to find people that are actually active on Facebook that are actually posting on Facebook so that you can engage with their posts there. And that's what active groups users let you do. Because when I look at this, I see that this has, uh, Chris here has 17 posts and 609 comments. So if I click on the post here, it'll show me the posts uh, in the group. These are posts in groups, right? Group. You see the word right here where it says group. So these are posts in group. There, are, there would also be posts in profiles possibly. And that lets you see kind of what they uh, posted. Um, but you you want to use this to find who is actually active. And then you use that. You click on their name here. It'll take you to their Facebook profile directly. And then you can engage on their posts. And this one here, I already have a not my target market, which means that I've already checked their profile. And I've decided they're not my target market. Uh, here's another one here maybe Eli no let's take a look at some that I have not visited in a while let's say Delroy and uh, lock profile three days ago so you see all this this information is all here where you can actually choose who to engage on instead of letting Facebook decide for you because that is the least powerful thing for you to do all right you really want to be engaging on people's profile posts because that is where the real power of attraction marketing is. They're going to see you engaging on their posts. They're posting because they want people to engage on their stuff. So if you engage on their stuff, on their posts, directly on their profile, they're going to be really appreciative and they're going to, you know, thank you for it. And possibly going to go check your profile and get to know you. And then that is the real power of attraction marketing, where people actually go and reach out to you and see what you're about and have conversation with you because they want what you have to offer all right that's the goal that's what i want for you and by using active group user software you're going to be able to find the people that are worth connecting with all right until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.